Okay, I know it's been like a week since I last uploaded. Maybe a little bit longer. I really fell off the train on this one. But, um, my base is on. I have the e.l.f. putty primer today. And we're going to be doing Beauty Creations Louis Taurus review. Like, he came out with like a little um, collab with them. I'm going to be honest. I am not well informed of all these, like, makeup artists and beauty creators and everything, right? But he is a big deal. People know him if you know the industry. Uh, he is a big deal. I, I don't know the industry, obviously. I'm just a normal person. But if you've got the PR collection, if you were in the luckiness or able to get on here, like, quickly, because they sold out super fast. It was $75. It came with the box and all that. Big old picture. The, just the coll entire collection, no PR box by itself, was $72. It had, I believe, two lip kits, the eyeshadow palette, and the face palette. And then if you wanted just the eyeshadow palette, it's $24. The face, the face quad, $16. One of the first lip kits came out to $19. The other, that one's a bullet lipstick, liquid lip, and a liner. The other collection is a liner, liquid lip, and a gloss, also $19. And I believe it's, um... Free U.S. shipping on orders of $75 plus, except on vanity mirrors, because they have vanity mirrors apparently, but they won't send those for free because, you know, they're gigantic and it's a pretty big cost for those. But I ordered it because, you know, I like supporting collabs and that. It's a big deal for a lot of people. Secondly, this palette looked amazing online. It looked really pretty. And I'm always curious about face quads because they obviously aren't made for everyone, but they keep tossing them out there as if they are, so I'm always curious to see. Yeah, baby's right here. Everyone knows baby. Okay, but let's see what I got in here. I got this all together. I got this, which looks like that's part of the lip kit and that. I did add on the pastel liquid eyeliners. Baby, don't don't pull on the camera. That part you can't do. Oh, so it came with, I believe these are stickers. Cool little stickers. The Macaidor Mexicano Experto en Cejas. And the, the brows. So, que onda ple, plebis, 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 I can't, no, I can't say it. Louis Taurus Beauty, Beauty Creations, boom, it's showtime. I believe that's the signature. La belleza está en el detalle, you know, the beauty's in the detail. Meh, I, I love that one. That one is like, I'm going to stick that on my car. <laughs> that meh, I gotta put it on there. Like, with that pose and everything, it's like, I have to. I have to. It's just. I think it's perfect, don't you? That meh, that emoji. <laughs> and sorry, Dustin's over there too. So, um, you, they always, if you do a big order, I think even if you don't do a big order, they always send you like this. Um, treat yourself, and they always give you like um, a code. I think the code stays the same. It's twenty five percent off your next order. Um, but I, 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 I frequently buy stuff from them. You can ask Dustin. Dustin just can't even keep up with all the packages that arrive at the house. There was another one when I opened the door today too. But um, this looks like one of the first lip kits. I'm going to go ahead and open this one because this one was not in that little um, packaging. It's very simple, very pretty. It is very elegant for like the price, 19 Double Leo Lip Trio. So it's got this beautiful like shimmer multi-chrome lip gloss in there it's got like gold blue shifts green shifts here's the liquid lip and the liner i'm probably gonna use this one because i um days that i have to do i have to go to work i have to i have to take my makeup off because i work third so it's overnight and i don't want my skin oils coming through under that it doesn't look nice so when i put a gloss on it's just easier and i don't feel bad for having to wipe it off because it comes off throughout the day anyway and here's the second one where you got the lip bullet the little, liquid lip and then the liner I might, I'll probably do the swatches afterwards but this is just so you guys can see now opening this up this one's got the delicates in it so um, quick this isn't part of the collection but these are the um, pastel liquid liners that I ordered so I'm excited I love having diversity and things I can create with in my collection so this is the face coin this is what comes in this collection here, baby, here's some pop, popples. Beautiful packaging, nice, simple. Open it up. 
like it's so elegant so continue to open it does have a mirror in here quick little mirror shot right there comes with plastic and then this is the quad which i think is actually quite nice and it looks like a highlighter another highlighter it's like a pink one the blush and i'm gonna say that's bronzer uh bronzing i wouldn't i don't think i don't know if i'll use it as a contour i don't think i can a contour shade so we'll see in a second though he's putting on a glove <laughs> so here's the eyeshadow palette it's a lot smaller than i thought it would be it's 24 dollars but it is so pretty let me show you plastic again a nice sized mirror and here is the palette so very pretty a lot of shimmers gorgeous beautiful i love i love it when the black has like the little shimmers like glitter specks in there i just think it's a little bit of depth and dimension that is needed sometimes most times okay so i always do my face first so we're gonna start with that i'm going to bring in because this is normally what i use to contour this deep shade and this one just does not have that shade it just doesn't it, it's very it's light compared to what i use as my contour shade so that's definitely a bronzing it's bronzing blush and highlight that's my contour shade so i'm gonna do the contour right quick and get that out of the way i've been using this one from farah i believe this is the ipsy from ipsy is where i found farah but you can also get them on their own i think but i do like these and gonna go in <laughs> baby's got a bunch of chips in his hands for some reason I, I like it because my face is not really that big so this brush just gets in there and it kind of does it for me and I just got to blend <laughs> quick and easy is my preferred method when it comes to my face makeup because I always know my eyeshadow takes the longest because I'll tell that's well I'm done with my face and my eyes are left it's not gonna take that long 40 minutes later <laughs> and I'm still working on my eyes it's a, it's a struggle I think he was cleaning up no I don't know what baby's doing getting my face even is always the hardest for me that one looks like I put too much on there. Ah, oh, the struggles. The struggles. Oh, okay, I'm gonna have to like even that out in a second. Is that my computer? Someone turned on the Xbox. Who? Dustin's Xbox just turned on by itself, you guys. Where's the controller? Right here. Uh -huh. I'm scared. <laughs> it's the ghost. Ghost Christmas past. Yeah, the controller's right there. Oh, it's probably baby then. Baby, was it you? Okay, then we figured it out. I was so scared. <laughs> Even baby got quiet. He was like, what? Okay, but sorry, you guys. I know this isn't part of the review, but I needed to do that. <laughs> okay, so we have that done. I might do a quick edit for once and actually like fast forward that part so you guys don't have to deal with it. But I'm gonna go in with this brush, make sure it's cleaned off a bit so it doesn't get messed with. I'm gonna go in with that shade as my bronzing. Because I like to do a little bit of bronzing so my forehead doesn't look as big in photos. <laughs> that makes sense. Anyone I like some people are like, you don't even have a forehead like that, but I do if I take a photo without um bronzing it and I've done my makeup, my forehead just like decides to grow on its own. Okay, so I, it did add a nice bit of color, very easy to blend. 
you can build up what you need okay so there's no real there's no complaints here it's nice simple normal normal bronzer okay so that's nice no surprises there I'm going in with this one because this blush is pretty light and it's normally what I use for my right here oh my gosh look at those bags all that puffiness I have under my eyes so we're gonna go in with that shade right here just adding it and building it up and I've also noticed that sometimes when since I look at this camera I can see the blush but you guys can't depending on the lighting so I do also recommend you can go to like my Instagram to see the photos so you can see how much of that blush is actually there but I like that that's a nice peachy tone on there on my skin tone so that's really nice it comes through I don't think I want that on my cheek here though because I tend to like to keep this darker just because you know I already have the contour there and I don't want it to contrast too much so I'm gonna go in with one of my deeper blushes if I have one nearby do I have one nearby no I don't of course I don't uh, okay I think this one's one of the deeper ones oh no that's bright red here we go this one's from luna magic that one's still bright red oh my goodness do i not have one of my deeper ones nearby i don't i really don't juvia's place to the rescue yeah normally i go for a like deeper tone like that to keep my bronzer still looking not bronzer my contour looking like contour but adding a bit of a rosiness to it. Okay. Oh, I'm also having cramps. Some cramps and some bloating today. Okay, so all rosied up. Wonderful. And now we're gonna do some highlighting. Highlight. I don't know what that one is. That's a face brush. I guess I can do that one. I'm gonna use this brush from Luna Magic. And we're gonna go with this one. Very champagne tone. I think that's what's called, ooh. Okay, so right in here. Oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. I like that. That is a nice complimentary tone. That is very nice. okay i see i see and i'm gonna do something i normally don't do anymore i used to i used to this pink one right here that nice pink bit tap a bit on here and i'm gonna add it oh wow wow i'm glad i said just a bit because that is strong that is a strong pink highlight i'm rubbing it in with my fingers to diffuse it just a bit kind of took me by surprise wow okay we are Glowy. Very glowy today. I'm gonna take a bit. I'm gonna continue with that pink one because that pink one really was like just dang. Wow. Wow. Okay. Okay, so yeah, the champagne one's definitely um very vibrant, very shiny too. Um but that one you you have to dip in a bit more. Now this pink one, you barely dip in, barely, barely, barely dip in, and you get a lot of payoff. And I mean a lot of payoff. It took me by surprise. Okay, yeah, the, that's the champagne. Here's the here's the pink. I used to pink for the rest of my face because I can use minimal amount and it just blinds you. Okay, so this one, like I said, it's sixteen dollars. I like the blush, very nice peachy. The, bron the bronzer is nothing too crazy, anything nice, easy to work with. Highlighters, definitely top notch. Definitely love the highlighters. I would pay $16 just to get the highlighters on their own. Like, eight a piece. When I think of it like that, if they that that's like very reasonable. Now, both of them for $16, but then it turns into a whole face quad. For $16, I definitely do think you should get that. I'm like, yeah. That was not sold out online yet either. Okay, the palette's available the um lip bullet with the liner and 
liquid lipstick is still available as well along with what did I say? Eyeshadow? Yeah, eyeshadow face and one of the lip trios. It's still available. So it's basically the whole thing. Okay, separately, but that I mean gah. Gah. Okay. I'm very happy right now with quality of that highlighter. Now, uh, for the part I'm really excited about too is this palette. This green, it's like this greenish blue. This 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 one. That one. I'm like, yes. Just yes. <laughs> I don't know what kind of look I want to do. Do you know what kind of look I should do? Halo, smoky, blue. He said blue. There's only like two blues in this palette, love. <laughs> okay, so I think I am going to do the green. So I think we're going to start off with... Oh, I gotta sneeze though. Baby, I love the shade. Oh my gosh. Baby. Okay, so we're gonna do the dark, the black. We're gonna do simple eye look. Simple, simple, Get simple. So we're gonna do the black. Outer edge. What's he playing with? No, the headset. Okay, highly pigmented. You can see the sparkle still left in there. Dustin and Baby are having a war over the headset. <laughs> okay. Oh. Oh, yeah. That is that is a high quality black eyeshadow, and the glitter specks are still left there when you're putting it down. So that is wonderful. Most of the times they they don't keep the glitter aspect in there, and they just fall off and they blend away. But this one you can still see it. So I like that. I like that a lot. And now we're going to do a simple blue. That nice, the 1989, the black was Bajado. Babado. Babado. I don't know why I said Bajado. There's no J in there. But it's Babado is the black one. And then the blue is going to be 1989. And we're going to bring that through the crease. I'm going to try to blend it in with the black first. Have a pretty nice transition going on right here just slowly working with it it's a very pretty blue oh, okay I do I do like this. I, I am not dipping hard into the pan. I'm making sure to only pick up a little bit. So if it looks like I'm dipping in a lot, I'm actually not. Because of the fact that it's such a vibrant blue, I'm going in very lightly and picking a tiny, tiny amount and working with it. Because I don't want to lose control and over blend. But that's what that blue looks like. If you do a swatch. So it comes off like that. So it is pretty much close to that. There's a little bit of black from the um, brush that went in there to keep it smoky. So, but that's what you're looking at if you do the blue without the black on there. And now I'm going to go in with this purple right here, the un Unstoppable. And I'm going to use that on the outer edges of that black and then the blend of that blue like this. That is a rich royal purple. I love that shade. Bringing it in and blending. I asked this one kind of eye look I should give, I should do, and I was like, Halo, smoky, and he just told me a color. I was like, that's not exactly what I meant. <laughs> I was like, in his defense, he doesn't really know much about makeup, so it makes sense that he's a, a color. Me dumb. No, I'm not calling you dumb. I just know that you don't pay attention to the type of eye look. Just the colors, which is fine. I look crazy. I know. It's fine. The lashes and the liner will bring it together, I promise. Okay, so I am going to use this beautiful Fade 16 shade. 
because I have to. It looks so nice. I really, really want to use that shade. I'm just going in with my finger, though. Oh, my God. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh. That on my finger looked amazing. Like, oh, my goodness. Baby's head butting my elbow at the moment. It's like challenge level of 5,000. <coughs> Baby, you made me dip into the wrong shade. I'm trying to stay precise even though I'm using my finger. I'm going to see what it looks like if I use a brush because I want to try to get it to that very tip right there of the eye crease. So let's see how it does with a brush. No, baby. Stop. It's going for the camera. And it looks like you can still get the same vibrancy. It definitely looks like you still get the same vibrancy. Oh, my goodness. That is such a beautiful green. <gasps> I'm so... Oh, I love it. Love it. Okay, so for the bottom, I'm going to go in with this one. The... Steamy Star. It's another of the shimmers in here. It's going to go on the outer section. Like this. Wow. These are like amazing. And then the inner section of the bottom. Okay, I'm loving this. And then for the middle middle of that I'm actually gonna go in with this one Leo times two Leo x2 okay just trying to get that on there making sure it's on and then in the center of those two make that connection oh that is so pretty oh my goodness baby stop my, my dress You're pulling on my dress <laughs> oh and then on this, in the inner corner, I'm actually going to go in with a matte. I'm going to try out this yellow. The Makeup Your World. This vibrant yellow. It's like almost a neon yellow. So I'm really like curious as to how that one will come out. Very pigmented on the brush. Let's see. Mm, no. No. This is tip number two, no, no, packing no, it on. No, no. And then tip number three. Let's see what tip number three does. <laughs> okay, so with the yellow, I really had to dip in like three times, really pack it on. But it is a like bright, vivid neon yellow, so I kind of expected that. So I would recommend a very light base with that one if you wanted to make a look that focused on the yellow because it's not going to have that payoff that you're looking for on its own. But I am going to go in with Beauty is in de in Details. This one. And it's going to be my underbrow highlight. Like this. Okay, so I'm going to pause, do my liner, my lashes, and I'll be back and we'll do the lips. Once I'm done fighting with baby too. I'll be right back. Okay, so I did the liner, the lashes, and the look. The eye look. I'm happy with the eye look. It's very... It's like dark, grungy, but very vibrant because of that green. I like it. I, I, I like it. Okay, it's like nice. It came together. Now, all we're missing now is one of these kits. And I really do want to go with the gloss. So, I'm going to do that one. Open up the other one. I'll swatch the other one. But I'm going to do this one on myself. So, here's the liner. Nice nude. Very nude. It, like, matches my lips perfectly. Like, wow. Mom. That's, that's a nice one. It's very smooth. Soft. 
get firm to where you can add a bit of pressure. Yeah, I'm happy. Okay, I'm very happy with this. this. This lip liner is actually really good. Okay, so we have that lip liner and it says keep it glamorous. And then we have a Paris in a bottle velvet matte liquid lip. So here's the shade. I walked up a bit. Ooh. Ooh. It's kind of pale. It's not to my liking when they're kind of like this pale. Smells like cake, vanilla cake. <laughs> okay, so yeah, very nude, soft, comfortable. No complaints. No complaints. Stop. Other than personal pre preference, but no, that's that's different. There's no quality issues here. Drying down very quickly, which is always appreciated. Yep quick dry down time and now with this beautiful gloss right here like I am very excited about those normal applicator stop baby he pushed the camera baby look I told you dad you could be in here yeah. but you acting up go on go on away from there go on go on <laughs> Baby, not listening. <laughs> He's like, no. Those are Pepsi's. Like, <laughs> Baby's going through his terrible twos right now, you guys. Any helpful hints? This is the first time one of the kids has actually like done a terrible two kind of thing. The other ones didn't really do this, so this is new to me. But so it's a very nice, simple nude lip. It works together, the gloss and it actually enhances the nude lip underneath. And this is what you can come up with with this, like one of the very many, many options. So I am going to swatch this one for you guys so you can see what this one looks like. This one, the lip liner is called She's So Chic Lip Pencil and it's like a deeper brown tone. Like that. Ooh. Trying to get it back into this like beautiful case that it came in. Oh, for some reason I can't get it back in there. Like, what did I do? Okay, there we go. I just didn't close it correctly. Now the liquid lip in this one's I'm perfect for myself. Oh no, this one's a lip gloss. Okay, so this is a gloss, a very opaque gloss. This is why. This is a bullet and keep it classy matte lipstick. So here we go. If you prefer a matte lipstick, it's got a pretty little heart. Oh, I'm gonna have to mess it up. Oh, no, the heart survived. You see it's still there? Yeah. Okay, so that's that. Oh, that's, this would be very impactful. Oh, I dropped the lid. It fell in my lap. It's fine. Okay, now this is a very opaque gloss. I thought it was another liquid lip, but it's not. And this one's I'm Perfect for Myself Lip Gloss. So that would go on top of that other one. So that's also a perfect combo. It would go great. Baby, stop trying to get into the, the lipstick set now baby 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 no we're fighting okay <laughs> but here you go so you would line your lip with this nice dark chocolate color and then you would um do your lipstick in this nice nude you know and then this one would add the nice warmth to it on top with the gloss so that would also be another wonderful pairing with any eye look that you'd come up with in the face palette so i think this is a very well thought through curated um collection you can tell it was made by a makeup artist like a professional makeup artist because of the fact that it all works together it's very nice and complimentary no matter what you do and it worked quite well like there's no complaints from me whatsoever beautiful he took the box somehow luckily it was not the palette <laughs> 
But here's the palette. So you can do your nude looks right here. The more adventurous looks. Nude with a pop of color. Like these would work wonderfully together. Any which way that you decided to work with it. So like I said. The the one the one with the bullet lipstick is still available. And it looked like it would be a wonderful, wonderful little set to have. The face quad is also still available. Definitely recommend it. Even if it's just for the highlighters. The palette oh, and the blush is still very nice. The palette, like definitely, definitely think you should get this palette. This green, I cannot get over this green. And like the other shimmers that I use, this one and this one, that one, beautiful. Like, let, let me show you this one. Like, oh my goodness. Here's the side by side. So you, like, is there a difference in them? I think there's a difference in the shift. Uh, very barely difference in those two. Here's the purple. Oh, that's such a pretty purple. And we're gonna do the orange copper tone right there. They're, they are soft, creamy. Like these are beautiful tones. Like, oh, like those are wonderful. They would highlight in the inner corner, just brow bone highlight all over the lid with a little yeah. bit of a matte contrasting tone on it yeah. i feel like you could come up with something really nice so i definitely do recommend this collection definitely do go check it out um i hope they do a restock on being able to buy it as um but like with beauty creations the thing that does get on my nerves with this um brand is um even if you buy it you know you know some companies like buy the whole collection there's a slight discount at least even if it's like two or three dollars not beauty creations they don't they don't. It, it's like they add it all up and that's the price you're going to pay. But I mean, at least it all comes in. Like it, I, don't, I don't understand. Like, at least it comes all together. But like, if you ordered it separately, it still all comes together. Like, what? <laughs> so, yeah, that's the only thing that really gets on my nerves about this company. It's like, if you're going to do a bundle and make it seem like it's a deal, discount it. Like, two, three dollars at least. At least. Like, I don't understand. At that point, just keep them separate. But, no, that's a tiny complaint. But either way, check them out. I'll always, as always, leave the website link down below in the description box. I think my lashes are two different lashes, even though they come out of the same box. So I'll have to look into that now. <laughs> Bye, you guys. See you in my next video, which I think is going to be in an unboxing.